kind of shall speak all the languages, but your covers don't need to explain him. All I really need to understand is when you talk book nerdy to me. Talk book nerdy to me. Hey everyone, I'm Miranda, and it's once again time for Top Wednesday. Today's topic is actually going to be our last topic of April, and I feel like I say this about every topic, but I really, really love this week's topic because it is going to be dun 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 top five characters you hate. This this could get really tricky because people are so protective mama bear about the characters they love that I'm scared that if I pick a character that they love they are going to hate me and I'm gonna have like 50 dislikes on this video even though that might not be a bad thing because that means that 50 people actually watch this video yay so I'm gonna warn you right now because I don't want to crush any of your hopes dreams and loves that if you like the goddess test the darkest mind series or the selection trilogy you are probably not going to want to watch this video because I'm gonna pick characters from those books and I don't want you to get angry at me. No one wants that. So if you like those books and you can't handle someone dissing the characters, yeah, I'm telling you right now, just don't watch the rest of this video. But for those of you who stuck around, let's get right to it with my top five hate characters. Here we go! Alright, so for my number five hate character, I'm going to pick Cole from the Everney series. I don't have the book with me, but I'll put a little picture in so you guys know what it looks like. Here uh, Cole, I don't know what exactly it is I don't like about him. He's just very, 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 very annoying. Cole's story is supposed to be a love triangle between Cole, Jack, and Nikki, I want to say her name is. I don't even remember that series that well. But it's just like Cole is so flippin' annoying that every time Nikki would go to him, he would just play her and use her, and she was a fool and just fell for it every single time. And usually you think like, oh yeah, of course I love Triangle, this guy is gonna look like a total D-bag, but then he's gonna turn out to have a heart of gold, and Nikki's really gonna fall for him, and it's gonna be a tough choice between Jack and Cole. No, Cole was legit a D-bag. There was no heart of gold underneath. There was no heart at all, actually. It was just a black hole where his heart should be, because Cole just literally sucked. I could not stand anything he said. So, yeah, not not liking Cole and, and I think there's actually a novella in all Cole's point of view and I was like definitely not reading that because I don't need that kind of torture. So, number four on my hate list is going to be Kate from the Goddess Test series. I don't remember too much about this book because I literally read it two years ago I want to say and I hated it so much that it's just kind of a kind of blocked it from my mind. For, but Kate is again one of those characters that just sets female protagonists back like 150 years. You just want to slap her in the face every time she opens her mouth. Basically, she fell in love with this one guy who probably has nine lines throughout the entire book, Henry, where I was like, this guy kidnapped you. What are you doing right now? Like, how can you fall in love with this man? And then the biggest thing of all, though, was that someone is trying to kill her. And they have all had big meetings and discussions about how someone is trying to kill her. And then she goes off on a picnic with this lady who is being super sketchy and, like, I can tell that this lady's trying to kill her. But she's just like, la di da di da I'm so trusting, let's go on a picnic. And surprise, surprise, the lady tries to kill her. I'm like, who did not see that coming? That is the only time that I've literally thrown a book down in frustration and been so, so angry that, that my parents actually asked what was wrong. Usually I'm pretty good about trying to finish series even if I didn't like the first book. But this is a book that I hated so much and I hated the character so much that I literally, I can't finish the series. I just, I give up. The third character on my list is going to be Clancy Gray from the Darkest Mind series. Dun dun dun. I have a lot of issues with the Darkest Mind series. I know a lot, a lot of people love it and I want to love it because everyone is saying how good it is and I read it and I'm just like, I don't, I don't see it. Ruby annoys me. I just get, I like everyone pretty much but Ruby, but the character that I really, really don't like is Clancy. He was the one that ruined the entire book for me. Because before Clancy came in, I was like, this book is eh, it's okay, I can get through it, I can just ignore Ruby and focus on Liam. Then little Clancy strolls in and is all like, hi bitches, I'm here, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, 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 this is not happening. Because, and it's so stupid because Clancy is like, hey, hey, hey Ruby, I, I want to kiss you. I'm going to kiss you now. And she's like, <laughs> we're, we're not going to do that. And he's like, don't. Oh, okay. I won't kiss you then. I'll just give you some lessons, okay? We can we can teach you how to work on your powers. And she's like, okay, that sounds normal. And then surprise, surprise, the minute he gets her alone, he tries to kiss her. And Ruby's all like, what are you doing? And I'm like, 
how how did you not see that coming? Like a uh, a blind gorilla saw that coming from 50 miles away. Like what? How would you know? So Clancy just ruined the entire book for me. I haven't read Never Fade yet. I'm probably going to. And I heard he gets more annoying in that book. So we'll see how it goes. But Clancy, you're a and you just you suck. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're down to the final two. And ironically, they're both going to come from the same story. Dun dun dun. For my number two character, I went with Aspen. Yeah, that's his last name. From The Selection and this boy, this boy. I don't think I've ever not liked a boy love interest so much more than I do Aspen. He is just debaggery in human form because there's just, ugh, I don't even know how to explain it. I just think he's so condescending and I don't even know how people consider there to be a Team Aspen because he just annoys the crap out of me and if America ends up with him, I will literally stab the book and rip it in half. I don't care if it's a library book or if it's a book that I bought, I will literally rip it in half because that would just... Oh my gosh, I'm having angina thoughts just thinking about it. The thing that really annoys me about him is that he gives up America to be with the selection. And he's not even nice about it. He's just like, um, yeah, I don't like you anymore, so just go on the selection. And it's like, that's fine and dandy. I can get that you're trying to do the right thing and give up your girl and all that. But then, at the end, he friggin' comes back and is like, I changed my mind. We need to be together. And America's kind of like, uh, Aspen, I'm a little busy here. And Aspen, as a guard, knows all the stuff that happens to girls if they get caught kissing or flirting or even looking at another guy. And he's like, America, America, we, we could do this. We got this. We can work this out. And no, Aspen, go away. No one wants you here except stupid America. No America ends up with him, I swear. It is not going to be a happy day in my house. I cannot stand Aspen. Yeah. Speaking of Aspen, it's time to announce the number one character that I hate. And like I said before, it's also going to come from the selection, but it is not Max and no, it is America Singer. What is there to say about America? She, like Kate from the Goddess series, sets women back about 200 years. All her story is is legitimately about which guy she is going to pick. And I know you can try and argue and analyze your way out of how it's really a deeper meaning for who she really wants to be and how picking the guy is picking who she really wants to grow up and be. But no, that's that's crap. She is just concerned about which guy she wants to pick and she doesn't even do it the right way because she's like, she's like, Maxon, Ma I'm gonna go with Maxon. Aspen will hate it, but I'm gonna go with Maxon. And then five seconds later, Maxon does something to make her mad, but he's really, he's such a nice guy, so I don't even know how he makes her mad. She gets mad at the stupidest stuff. And then is like, Aspen, I can't believe I almost gave you up. I couldn't live my life without you, Aspen. And I'm like, just make up your stupid little mind. Just marry them both at this point because Maxon, you get mad at him for the dumbest stuff when he tells you repeatedly, just tell me you love me, tell me you want to be my queen, and I will call off the selection. This whole thing will be over. We'll be together forever, blah, blah, blah. But no, stupid America has to be like, oh, I don't know if Maxon really likes me. Let me go back to Aspen. And I'm just like, shut your pie hole, America. Like, I don't understand. And I know people love this series, but I just, it is one of my hate series that I hate to read. And America and Aspen, they ruin it for me, but America is the one that I really, really can't stand. Oh my gosh. I get so worked up just talking about her. Ooh, I gotta calm down now. All right, so those are the top five characters that I hate. I feel like this is definitely gonna incite a riot, especially if you like the selection because I kind of just took a 12 foot hammer to that series so sorry if you do like the selection but I did give you a warning so now that you've heard my picks leave your picks down below for who you hate and why they're like a main main character that you hate because my friend hates Trish and I don't understand her. I'm like what with no like I get an insurgent that she's annoying but she hates her in Divergent and I'm like what what no so if there's anything like that feel free to leave your comments down below thank you all for watching I'm Miranda and I will see you for the next top five Wednesday which will be our first May topic Woo! bye